Hello, welcome to bcbamockexam.com. This is another video of the series which unpacks section 8 of the 5th edition of BCBA task list. In this video, we will walk you through AO2, explain the philosophical assumptions underlying the science of behavior analysis, which include determinism, selectionism, empiricism, parsimony, and pragmatism. This video continues to help you with the BCBA exam preparation. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. The first assumption is determinism. It's the belief that the universe is a lawful and orderly place, and all phenomena occur as the result of other events. An example of determinism is that there is an explanation for a vase falling off the shelf even though no one is around it. The second assumption is selectionism, which conveys the idea that there are three ways that the environment apply upon a living being, phylogenic, which is selection by natural evolution of species, ontogenic, which is how the environment changes an individual over his or her lifetime, and cultural, which is passing behavior from one person to another. And this can also be called imitation or modeling. The third is empiricism, which is the objective observation of events that are based on data. For example, one may record duration data to empirically determine the length of a behavior. The fourth is experimentation, which is comparison of a dependent variable under two or more different conditions. In this case, only the independent variable varies from one condition to another. Fifth, replication, in other words, the repeating of experiments. It serves to determine the reliability and usefulness of findings. It is instrumental in finding mistakes, and it is needed in order for a finding to be accepted as a pattern. Sixth, parsimony. It's the principle that the most acceptable explanation of an occurrence, phenomenon, or event is the simplest, involving the fewest entities, assumptions, or changes. Simply put, all simple and logical explanation for phenomena must be considered first. For example, there is a simple explanation for why your mom did not call you back last night. Seventh, philosophical doubt, which refers to continually questioning the truthfulness of what is regarded as fact. It represents a healthy level of skepticism. And the last but not least, pragmatism, which refers to analyzing outcomes and procedures based on results. It implies the idea of inductive reasoning, which is drawing a general rule from specific observations, and there is an emphasis on value of the knowledge or truth. A good example is that treatment plans should be data-based and individualized. What worked in the past shouldn't be used directly in the current case, and interventions should be evaluated based on the client. That's all for today's video. See you next time. Visit our website for study guide and exam practice, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.